Hello everybody, Jim here. I'm out on the old Erie Canal towpath in a small town in upstate New York. This is not by any stretch of the imagination my favorite section of the canal at all, but it is the section that I live the closest to. So here I am. I could have taken a longer drive, maybe 45 minutes to an hour to get to a more favorite section, but um, didn't want to invest the time or the gasoline in that. And for some reason, I can't do this video in landscape because it all goes dark on me. So you might be seeing a skinny view here. But uh, why am I here? I was out for a run earlier this morning around the neighborhoods where I live and I you know, it, it got hot and sweaty, but I got a little bit of that that endorphins flow, that, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a dopamine rush that you get when you exercise vigorously. That's wearing off now, but uh, so I'm a bit more mellow. But I'm here, I got hit with the notion, today is July 4th, 2018, I got hit with the notion of all is calm, all is bright makes you think of that song uh, Silent Night, the Christmas song. Now I'm right near a, a fairly busy roadway. Again, this is not my favorite section of the canal by any stretch of the imagination, but it's all I've got to work with today. I'm on a uh, I'm on an aqueduct right now. Aqueduct to be more. Aqueduct is how you say it in upstate New York. It's on an aqueduct. I'm on an aqueduct here. And um, trying to just get a little bit of peace and clear my thoughts because I woke up with this notion today that I had a message to deliver. I haven't prayed enough about it yet. I don't know what that message is other than all is calm, all is bright on this early morning on July 4th, 2018 in upstate New York. This is the creek that passes under the old Erie Canal. This is a creek that is a good place to fish too. You could catch almost anything out of there. It feeds a major, major waterway. It feeds a lake that uh, is a is a renowned fishery, especially for walleye. And there's some in this creek here too. There's all kinds of things. There's bass, there's trout. Trout are more upstream. Uh, this is more of a warm water habitat here. There's uh, carp. There's suckers, there's all manner of bowfin, there's fall fish, which are silver-colored minnows that grow rather large, but not trying to bore you. All is calm, all is bright. That is the notion I was hit with. Now, what does that mean? Are things going to be less calm and less bright later on? Maybe later today, maybe later in the week, watching the world, watching America, I saw this morning on Twitter that Second Civil War was a trending hashtag again. I think that's twice this week that Second Civil War was a trending hashtag. Um, the elites are certainly trying to kick that thing off, but they're doing it slowly because they have to be able to manage it. It's managed chaos. But now you see through Twitter, the hashtag Second Civil War is thrust out into the public sphere, in the sphere of the sphere of the, of the sheeple who wouldn't otherwise have any clue as to what that might be. But uh, so here we find a little bit of peace and solace. All is calm. All is bright. I hope that everything is calm and bright in your world right now, my friends. And being that it is the 4th of July, if you're an American, you're probably planning on celebrating. I'm going to be very cool today. I'm not going to do much of anything. Uh, be careful. Don't intoxicate yourself. If it's hot where you are, and it's hot and humid where I am, please, please stay hydrated. Uh, be very careful if you're handling fireworks. Don't do anything stupid. So many people... Uh, get injured by fireworks because they're careless. 
be considerate of your neighbors. Don't be blowing them off at one o'clock in the morning when people are trying to sleep. Um, that's very common where I live. Um, just be considerate. Pray today, folks. Again, I'm trying to figure out what exactly it is that I'm supposed to tell you. I'm working on that right now. I've got to pray more about it. I'm in a nice shady spot right now. Let me show you some of the water in the old Erie right here. It looks a bit, you know, you might say, gosh, that's hardly attractive. I fish here. There's, uh, there's pickerel. There's bass. There's small northern pike. There is uh, maybe a bowfin or two. This is not prime bowfin water. You know, if you follow my channel, you know that I love bowfin. Uh, but there might be a, a bowfin or two in here. There's all manner of panfish in here as well. This, this is the original. Well, this is the the widened version of the Erie Canal that was dug, good gosh, almost 200 years ago. But this is a, a historic waterway, believe it or not, a very historic waterway. But okay, I'm running long on this video. All is calm, all is bright in the late morning, mid-morning, I should say, of July 4, 2018. Be prayerful, be careful, um, be considerate of others. Gosh, I sound like a public service announcement, don't I? Uh, be watchful, uh, be, be aware of what's going on nationally and in the world. Um, all is calm, all is bright, and do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind, it comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.